All right, this is Catullus Carmen 1. This is the, uh, the invocation, uh, the dedication. Um, it starts out really as a dedication and then sort of becomes an invocation here when we start talking about, oh, pet Patrona Virgo. Um, but, uh, but originally he dedicates it to Cornelius Nepos, uh, the historian who writes the Annales or the Chronica um, uh, in, in three books. So Catullus starts out with cui, the relative pronoun, to whom do I give this or maybe my new excellent book or my new amusing little book, right? So a liber is a book, a libellus, the diminutive means little. So my new amusing little book or witty or delightful little book. Just now, modo, now or just now, expolitumed. So this is the perfect passive participle describing the labellum. So polished with dry pumice stone. And your book tells you that the edges of the papyrus could get stiff and um, rather jagged. And so you would, you would sort of polish those off to smooth those out and make it more, more pleasant to, to work with. Well, the answer to the original relative pronoun here, or interrogative pronoun, really, is to you, Cornelius. And again, we're talking about Cornelius Nepos, the historian, who also came from the same area, the transpedine background that, uh, that Catullus came from, which is probably why he's dedicating it to him. He says, and for you were accustomed to putare, to think that meos nugas, that my little nothings, my, my triflings were something. And were accustomed is fine, uh, is fine, that's what it means, but often usually is a good translation here. For you usually thought, now I'm saying thought here to get it into the past tense of the imperfect here, but you usually thought, um, or were thinking maybe, that my little triflings were something, in other words, like worthwhile. Already then, or maybe even then, or how, how about um, already at that time is what your, your reader says, when Alsus est, when you dared as one of the Italians, when you, one of the Italians, dared to explain literally to unfold, right? All of age, all time, only I were in three sheets of papyrus, three cartae. So remember that audeo, the verb that means to dare, is semi-deponent. And what that means is that it's a regular verb, but when you get into the perfect system, it becomes deponent. So even though this is passive in form, we are saying you dared. And then the unus italorum modifies the you. It's an appositive to the you. Uh, and so you are explaining all of age in three papyrus sheets. And these papyrus sheets are described by Catullus as learned. And, and Jupiter here means by God or by Jupiter, uh, laborious, painstaking. So the last three lines here, qua re. So therefore, habe tibi, literally have for yourself. So maybe take for yourself whatever of the genitive here, a little book this is. And this is a pretty common expression uh, that we see in Latin literature. It's a, the ultimate diminutive, right? Oh, whatever sort of thing this is. And qualicunque really does literally mean and whatever source, uh, whatever sort of thing, maybe for whatever it's worth. And then we have what's called a, a, um, a, a connecting relative. So we have a relative pronoun here, which, or maybe that. And we see this in Caesar a lot where uh, really we probably need to put an and in here for it to make complete sense in the context of the larger sentence. So, and, O patroness maiden, may this thing, i.e. The, the book, all my work, remain. And I'm saying may because this is the, the justive subjunctive. 
may this remain perenne, everlasting, perennial, for more than one age, more than one lifetime. 